This is our second year of doing the holiday activity with food programme. Following a really successful year last year, I asked the staff if they felt they had capacity to deliver it again this year. So the programme is for four hours from nine till one, for four days, Monday to Thursday, and for four weeks. We have a graduated approach to our holiday activity with food programme. So we offer it to all of our children on free school meals because one of the things that we ensure they get is a hot meal that day. So on two days, our kitchen staff are in and deliver it, the hot meal. And the other two days, the children work with the staff to make pizzas, they've made enchiladas, they've done tacos. So was that the food element is really important. It's not in school and the children do realise that they're not here for reading and for maths and for doing history and geography. They're here to enrich their lives during what can be a long holiday. So for me, it's primarily about making sure that those children are getting at least one meal a day um, with our vulnerable children coming in. It gives us an opportunity to not keep an eye on them, but to make sure that they're active um, during the summer holidays. But it is a way of us making sure that they have that opportunity for at least one meal a day. It keeps you entertained normally, like if you're at home you sometimes get like really bored and all that and you just nothing to do. Because you get to do fun activities with your friends. Because yeah, my mum and dad, uh, well my dad is away for a few days and my mum's always in work so it's, so I just have some people to like play with here. So we're at TS Boxing Fitness, I'm uh, the junior head coach. We have um, three sessions a week, six o'clock, Tuesdays, Thursdays and 9.45 on a Saturday morning. Today's project, the first day for this group, so we're going over the basics, going over the stance, guard, basic punches and how to defend those punches. And then we'll have different activities, different games, keep them busy and keep them occupied. They, have, um, they also receive a free, free dinner. The main things I think the kids get discipline, self esteem, confidence. They also get to meet some new friends. The idea of the project is for children who don't always necessarily have access to activities and who have the free school meals in school to be able to have a healthy meal every day and some physical activity rather than just kind of, you know, sitting at home in the bedrooms playing games or whatever. They've got somewhere that they can come and um, mix with the other children that some might be in the same school as them and they have physical activities. But we also do things like some crafts with them and just keep them busy and keep them having fun all day, every day really, as well as obviously the main thing being a nice healthy lunch that they can they can eat. We have a healthy moment every day where they learn something about healthy eating, be that five a day, how many glasses of water they should drink. And I've been setting them challenges um, to come and tell me the next day how many pieces of fruit they've eaten or how many vegetables they've had, which a few of them have been doing, which has been quite nice. So it's a multi-sport holiday club. Uh, we're running it for four weeks. We're into our third week of it now. Uh, and we've been doing all different sports, so it's things such as football, rugby, tennis, basketball, cricket, fun games, a lot of stuff where the kids can really make friends um, and really feel like they're, they're a part of something during the summer holidays. I think it's massive for kids. I mean, as a child, I was really into my sport anyway, and the whole social side of it, I think, is, is really, really important for the children. But it's also so that during the summer holidays these kids have got a bit of a focus somewhere that they can come somewhere they can enjoy time with the friends um, and keep healthy and active so that when they go back in september uh, they're in a really good place we've been doing lots of running and lots of sports activities i like when you're doing all the exercise and it's really fun So what we've been doing through the summer holidays is anyone aged between 10 and 16, um, they've been coming in and doing, working on nail wheels, so we give them all a nail wheel, um, do nail designs with glitters, rhinestones, and then we'll put a collection together and then we'll make a mood board for the nails. 
with hairdressing, they're working on um, training blocks, so it's pro it's human hair that they're working on, and we'll do curling, wanding, using all GHD equipment, so they're using all the latest equipment, and then at the end of the session, we'll do a little competition, who's done the most creative, everybody gets a certificate, and then we do a little prize at the end, so they'll get a prize for who's been the most creative. It's gone really well, all the sessions have been fully booked, uh, with a waiting list as well so it has it's been really popular really really good sessions so with the project that we've been doing it gives them something to do um, meeting new friends gains confidence it keeps them off the streets as well by them coming they'll get a free healthy lunch included and that's part of the um, the essential what they, they provide we get each child gets a free healthy lunch um, and it's just great for him to meet new friends and gain confidence, learn new skills. So today we're here at Halton Community Shop doing the Healthy Holidays Programme, which is a health and wellbeing programme for children over the school holidays to tackle holiday hunger. There's a multi-variant of provisions that we have in Healthy Holidays and they cover a few basics for us. There is sports and physical activity to keep children active, and whilst we're here today, we'll be looking at some of the food and nutritional education courses that we do here. So at the cook clubs for children, so they can learn about healthy food, how to cook it, and then also have a nice meal at the end. So far, it's been brilliant. Obviously, the, the support we received from Ed Central year on has been absolutely fantastic. And it's helped us put provisions on like this year on, year out. To be honest, the response for archery has always been quite good with the kids. Uh, and I think it's just because it's something extra for them to do uh, and something that's very different that they haven't really got an opportunity to do anywhere else. Um, we're here at Extreme Studios and we have a range of activities for the kids here today. So we start at 9 o'clock in the morning, we have um, initial activities, arts and crafts, board games, um, small team games. We then do a nutritious introduction for the dinners. They're provided by the kids' plan witness at the moment, and um, they're our little um, helping hand. And we talk through what they're going to try, what they're going to have, and then the following up we have the lunch. And in the afternoon we do the more uh, messy play. So, um, painting, uh, face painting, um, sun charms, all, all sort of messy things, slime making, that sort of thing. And team games um, are done in the afternoon just to ensure that everyone's met everyone. We're actually giving the children opportunity to get back to a little bit of normality. Um, interaction, where you're like meeting people younger themselves um, and sort of interacting so that they can help each other to learn to do new things. Some children couldn't use scissors, they're now flying away. Um, some children had never actually done um, puppets. And there's all sorts of things that um, we've inspired them to go home and bring things back and create more. Mm -hmm.